Wake out. Motherfucker. That uh, Harold, uh, one more thing. Yes, dear. What is it, Sai? Could you take Maro a message? I suppose. Is it just gonna be like hers? No, 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 nothing like that. It's something definitely unrelated. So, what's the message? Oh, okay, fine. You got me. Happy? Just tell her procedure smeecher and that she puts the why are you in Cyrus. I don't know that's such a good idea. I mean, what is this whole thing about exactly anyway? She started it. Back in the days, we were both part of the Archive Club. She was always so darn keen to throw away all the rules and invent new archiving procedures. She called it a healthy distrust for calcified mental models. But all it did was stop us ever getting anything done. So, you disagreed about archiving? Precisely. But it was fundamental. I mean, we respected each other's work, but there was this deep difference. And I guess neither of us was willing to budge. So, what did you decide about the archives? That's not important anymore. Come on, man. Sometimes you don't need to reinvent the wheel. Okay. So, no message for her? <sighs> Just tell her I say hi. She'll know what I mean. Okay. Catch you later, Sai. Okay. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason. Just contact your nearest uh, and all water will make it up to you. Now the world. They stupid. In a lounge. Nothing. Let's clean it up. Oh, graffiti. What yep. good is asking where is home anyway? Where else are we going to go? Could they just leave some notes around? I wonder if this is the light keepers again, or just someone copying their style. Will they ever reveal themselves? Probably not. Get to scrubbing, Harold. Oh. I'm scrubbing. Okay. Lovely little dance moves. Oh, stretching. Oh, stretch. Wow. Okay. Wow. Oh, yeah. It's like I'm on a string. Wait. Oh, Magical. I'm back, but I can't seem to find your rock, love. Hey, Professor. Got a message from Cyrus for you. Out with it, then. He says, hi. Hi? Just hi? Yeah, just that. He said you'd know what it means. He's a sly one sometimes. I'll give him that. Stubborn as a mule. What's a mule? Oh, don't you start, Harold. Leave me be. I've got to think of a comeback. I mean, get some important work done. <laughs> gotta think of a comeback. Run. I'm gonna look around for this blue rock. I will be back. Hi, Sai. Oh, hey, Harry. So, you and Sonny seen much of one another recently? Well, not that much. I'm sure you know what it's like. I bet you didn't see that much of her when you two were together, even. She certainly is a wandering soul. Hmm, yeah. It'd be nice if she wandered into her dad's life a little more every now and again, but... Hey. I try and let her grow her own way. Last thing I want is her deliberately avoiding me. We hope you travel with us again soon.
Hello, Mr. Secretary. Uh, eight, right? I'm afraid not. You must be thinking of my brother, Secretary Eight. Or Secretary 24, of course. Oh, sorry. I always get that mixed up. There are all just the same. three of you, right? Well, now, uh, three of us work for Old Water, yes. Oh, so there's another who doesn't? Hmm, yes, Secretary Eight is the man to ask about that. He remembers it all much better than I do. Remembers? Okay, sounds serious. Anyway, I'm neglecting my post. Welcome to the Agora Arcades. Would you like to partake in the monthly All Water Raffle Bonanza? Oh, sure. Wait, is it free to enter? Certainly. The raffle is a generous gesture of frivolity from All Water to you, the citizens of Fedora. What are the prizes? Well, there's a long list of luxuries, a plethora of pleasurable prizes. The full list can be perused at your leisure on the All Water Public Access Forum. Okay, I'm ready. I'll just spin her up. Drum roll, please. And... Looks like you were unlucky this time, but that's life. Try again next month. Sounds about right. The secretary number eight. Wherever the hell he is. Tim, what do you think about the announcement then? I think it sounds exciting, Alon. You think everything sounds exciting? Well, that new hey, Tommy. I don't suppose you'll be back in the shop soon? <sighs> or, I mean, I can come back later? Oh, uh, no. What do you need? It's just that the professor and I need some sea rocks. I mean, filter rocks from older times that have come from the filters. And I feel like you might have one. Shh, quiet. Don't be mentioning filter Frankie. You know that every piece in my inventory is legally obtained or, or legally found, right? Right. Sure. That's why I'm here to legally acquire an item of yours that you may have. Okay, look and listen here, Longy Long Pants. I shut the store for a reason, you know? Oh man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you Longy Long Pants just then. You sure you don't want me to come back another time? It's fine. I'm just feeling sorry for myself. I've got this gut feeling that my beautiful angel wife don't care about me no more. Oh. No, I know I'm oversharing again. Tommy, you gotta stop oversharing. Look, kid, either way, I'm not gonna be of any help to you today. Ah, uh, if you're sure. Yeah, you just caught me on a blue note, that's all. She's been spending so much time with that beautiful chunk of marble. You know, the guy in the silk robe and the flowing locks? Hey. Check on Bridget. Where do I look? I'll find her. Him. Her. Yeah. Ah, hello there. Secretary 8? That's me, sir. Can I help you get where you're going? That's okay. I was actually wondering... Well, I've been speaking to your brothers. Oh, how nice. Which ones? Mr. 17 and Mr. 24. Well, I didn't speak to Mr. 24 about that, but... Ah, yes. Yes, good, loyal, all-water employees both. I dare say I've been a good influence. Although even my shining example couldn't extend to him. So, he's the fourth brother. What happened to him? Oh, <clears throat> I do apologize. I've got to see to uh, matters. But I'm sure 24 can help with your inquiries. He has a better grip on the whole sordid affair than I do. Okay, Mr. Eight. Well, you were useful. Right. The first tube system routes were unveiled to the public in Mr. 24, hi. Mr. Halibut? So, 
I was just talking to your brother, Secretary 17. I mean, and <laughs> it was funny. Actually, at first, I thought he was your other brother, 8. I'm sure he found it just as hilarious as I do. Do you need something? Only that when I spoke to 8 about what 17 said, he said to speak to you about what happened with your fourth brother. Ah, yes. Our wayward Warren, the fourth brother who went his separate way, choosing a life of gastronomical frivolity over contributing to society with all water. Oh, I see. Are you ashamed of him just because he didn't follow you all into working for the corporation? Is that why none of you like to talk about him? Actually, he tried, but he didn't pass the entrance exam. We suspect his heart wasn't really in it. We used to do everything together, and we were supposed to stick together. But he didn't study enough, and now... Yes, what does he do now? <sighs> Last I heard, Warren had started a food stall. I don't want to think about it. Okay, well, thanks for telling me about him. I'll leave you be. Food stall isn't really that bad, to be fair. <laughs> For some reason, just contact your nearest pilot, and all water will make it up to you. Here we go. I found them. Oh, there's Bridget and Chris. What are they doing in there? I can't hear them, but maybe I can lip read. Hmm, seems like Bridget is pretty excited about something. It looks like she's saying. How the fuck am I gonna know? It's unacceptable. Tommy would realize. No matter how much I want to. Oh, Chris is replying. Let's see. Okay. I understand. Maybe it's for the best. You're just making anyway, shit up now, Harold. We should get back before people notice. Hmm. Pretty mysterious. Not really. Now I wish I'd never skipped those lip reading classes. <coughs> Reconnect with Tommy. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water chip system journey. I never do. It's too wet. Hey Zoom, what do you know about Filter Frankie? Filter Frankie? Yeah, Frankie. I'm I'm sorry to bother you again, but I went looking for Mrs. Vandervart. And she was at the harvest office. Not news. It's her office. Where else would she be? I know, but it's more who was there with her that I thought, you know, I should mention. What? Who was she with? It looked totally professional. I didn't see anything bad. Just Senor Tinnerbaum. Ah, what? What's he doing in her office? There's no way he knows enough about energy. If I still had my own hair, it would never have come to this. Tommy, I'm sure it's not like that. I just... You don't understand, Harold, what it's like to get old. But I'll be damned if I'm going to take this lying down. Tommy, I don't think you should uh, get angry. And you're in on this with me now, Harold. You did the right thing bringing this to me. I'm really sure it's nothing, just a lunch chat. I've just been so busy working on this damned store sign, thinking Bridget would love the ambition, you know? See me as a real go-getter again. But maybe this whole time I should have been showing her signs of my love. I'll bet she knows you- You're absolutely right. We'll modify the sign. Tonight, make it into a great big sparkly neon proclamation of my, nay, our love. A sign she won't be able to miss. A sign to blind that glossy maned Casanova. I mean, I'm not sure that's the sign. Don't doubt it, Harold. This is gonna work. I just feel it. You're in, right? Will you help me save our love? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll try. Knew I could count on you. 
Let's get to work. Let's do it, Superman. B and B. I'm gonna go freshen up a little. Might even put on a different outfit now that I think of it. Will you go and look for Bridget for me? Sure. My dear Bridget, I'm sorry we haven't been able to spend much time together recently. So I get how you might be attracted to the man-machine with the flowing looks of an angel that you call your friend. But I do beg you to give me another chance. Please, Bridget, will you let me back into your heart and take this monument to our love as a sign of my great affection? Tommy, of course I love you, and I would never betray you. I just wanted to give you some space. I saw you working so hard on your new sign, and I just wasn't allowed to tell you. Couldn't tell me what? Oh, what the heck. The ship's facing some issues with the energy budget. I knew you would need a lot of light for your sign, and I just wasn't allowed to tell you. Ha! No way we've got an energy problem here. As soon as he that says it. That was it? No helping Tinner Bomb with his spray tan? That was it. No spray tan. I'm so sorry, Buttercupsy. I love you. I love you. Aww. So cute. Yeah. I don't think anyone else is clapping. Thank you for your help, Harold. You're welcome, I was welcome hoping to accept this stone as a thank you. Ah! Oh, no. Moreau won't be happy to hear about this. Oh, dear. I think somebody's stolen the rock. Ew. What are you gonna do, Major? Major? Harold! If it transpires you had anything to do with this wanton violation of code 7887, then so... No, no. I want to find the rock more than anyone. <clears throat> Say I believe you. Can you think of anything that might help us find the culprits? I'm sorry, Major. I'll let you know if I think of anything. See that you do. That missing rock is a stain on my sheet of justice. I will. You need to chill, bro. <sighs> Be good. Okay, we're too serious. Ah, oh, Harold. Listen about the rock. I'm really sorry it's gone. You know, I would have loved for you to have it. Ah, uh, it's okay, Tommy. It wasn't your fault. I just feel. You know, I was so wrapped up in my own stuff, maybe... Oh, I don't know. Thanks, Tommy. Maybe it'll turn up. I'm just glad you and Bridget made up. Thanks, Harold. You're a swell guy. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Let you know if I hear anything. Thanks, Tommy. Bridget? Harold, how are you doing? Ah, uh, you know, same old. Yep, same old here, too. Energy issues? You heard that, Mr. Busy Ears? Ugh, but yes. I mean, we've always got to be careful and efficient. And, you know, this isn't public. But I want to be extra careful right now until we figure out what's going on. Is the station using more energy than it used to? Well, yeah, especially the transportation system. And the damn tubes or tickets never work and just get more expensive all the time anyway. Right. Remind me why we can't just reduce the transport system? Huh, I ask myself the same thing. Every time we add some new upgrade or expand it, it eats up more energy. Our production process doesn't get any more efficient. Plus, when we held an anonymous vote about it, the majority of Fedorans said they'd rather have more transport now rather than more energy later. So... Stupid. You know... I'm not sure I've ever understood exactly how the energy process works. Gosh, why are you asking me this now? It's not exactly a line answer. Look, if you really want to know, swing by the energy harvest office sometime and I'll break it down for you. I'd better go. Thanks, Bridget. See you, Harold. But yeah. Well, where do we go? What do we do? Let's go see the professor, I suppose. Maybe? Maybe not? Oh. 
Hello. Harold, got you a message. Oh, thank you, Miss... Zoodle, pleased to make your acquaintance. So, it's from Felix. He says there's something he wants to show you and to expect a secret message soon. Oh, what? Why? I mean, and why couldn't he just have said that to me himself? I don't know. Go ask him. My work here is done. Later's, mister. Thanks. Peace out, bro. You have arrived. Please I sure have. In an orderly manner. I shall run. We hope you travel with us again soon. I have no choice. They're all connected. Good evening, everyone. Please remember, the all-water tube system will shortly be closing for the night. Oh, Get bedtime. Stuck, not stranded. Sounds fun. Look, twist around. Hello. Professor, you're not going to believe this. Why does that not surprise me? The blue rock. It's gone. You found it? You lost it? It was stolen from Tommy's store. This is utterly vexatious, Harold. I know. What shall we do? We? I need to think. Madam CEO, you're going to want to hear this. I'm listening. It's the new boy, ma'am. It's picked up a signal that we have reason to believe originates from Earth. Earth? Have you reverse dated the transmission? We have. It was sent in 2102. So 126 years after we left. Things would have been pretty rock bottom back there by then. Let's hear what was important enough for them to call after us. Maybe it was their final farewell, huh? <laughs> I hope it's nothing too awkward. Okay, I'll send a copy via... Well, just play it to me. I've got a 1205. But, Mom, it's only 10... And one of those. Okay, playing back now. This is Earth. Earth to the Fedora. Boy, you were sure hope you're all okay. Whomever is still out there. We're not quite sure how to tell you this. Johnston! Cut the damn line! You're live! What? Oh, fudge! Professor, did you hear that strange message? It was hard to miss. It's the first message from Earth. Ever? Certainly in my lifetime, at least. I wonder, what kind of message would a dying civilization speculatively send to a ship that can never return? What do you think it means? It means that the fact Allwater haven't shared it publicly yet means they're thinking about how to turn it to their advantage. What if it's not the first message? Don't be paranoid, Harold. What reason or authority would they have for keeping messages from us? Still, even if they had planned to share it immediately, they look suspicious now. Gosh, that message could be anything. Maybe they've got information for us about our mission. Hmm. Well, what could that information be? If we presuppose... Phone call. Yes? Oh, it's you. Yes? No. Indubitably. Fine. What? 15%? Out of the question. Okay, sure. See you shortly. Harold, I want you to come with me. Huh? To where? What? Who was that? Why? It was the CEO of Allwater Corp, of course. Asking me to jump. What for? How high? Indeed, Harold. Indeed. Well, unfortunately for my bath, she was adamant we went there immediately. She even unlocked our tube tickets for emergency night travel. But why? What does she want with us? Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? Come on, let's not keep Her Highness waiting. Ew. Crisis control. We need to get out there ahead of the turn in public sentiment. First move advantage and get this working for us, not against us. Yes, come in, come in, come in. Now, as you both know, time is of the essence. Sorry, where are my manners? Would either of you like something to drink? Ah, I suppose I might like a coffee? There's really no time for coffee. Time is of the essence. Professor, would you like to sit? No, thank you. I prefer to stand. A woman of action, I love that. Anyway, 
We must act. Due to the unfortunate Communic incident, we've been forced to move up the schedule. It's imperative we deliver some good news about the start procedure. Hmm. I suppose that wouldn't hurt. To that effect, Professor. And, um, you there. I'll need you to supervise Cyrus directly. We can't afford for any unforeseen delays. Cyrus, he works best undisturbed. The man is a stubborn buffoon, but there's no doubting his thoroughness. Professor, please. It would do this old heart good to know that you were keeping a watchful eye on him. Or maybe your, um, protege here could do it. I'll hang out with, I mean, watch Cy, sure. If it makes you happy, Madame CEO, we'll make sure Cyrus delivers. Great. Music to my ears. Thank you both. You've done all water and the ship a great service. We're ready. Go live and stay on schedule. Okay. It's my privilege to announce to you all today that our new boy program has already proven an unmitigated success. We present to you now the full and unedited audio that represents the first incoming message we've received in our lifetimes. Now, before the message plays, I'd like to take a moment to reiterate just how proud we should all be of progress on the new start procedures. It won't be long before we're ready for the first attempt, the latest in a long line of steps on the road to a greater, brighter future for us all. Please enjoy this message, brought to you by the All Water Corporation. This is uh, uh, the Fedora. Well, we sure hope you're all okay, whomever is still out there. We're not quite sure how to tell you this. Things were pretty rocky here when you left, of course, and, you know, that was a brave move. Probably the right decision at the time. We didn't know whether to even tell you this, but we figured maybe it would give you some comfort way out there in the freezing clutches of deep space. What? Oh, right. Yeah, I guess. Or, I mean, even better, the comforting, warm embrace of a lovely, habitable new planet. Well, we just wanted to let you know that we pulled together down here. The sparrows calmed down and things pretty much worked themselves out. Life still isn't perfect. Bananas died out. And you've got to be pretty careful around water. But by and large, we're back on track. I've survived. Wish we could send you a postcard. Anyway, be safe and maybe one day we'll get a hello from you. We'll be listening. That seems fake. What are you all still doing here? Don't you have work or something to do? Scram! Sorry, Mum. Moving on. Retreat to the lab. Good. I'll go up here and ask him what the f he was doing. Beep, 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 beep. at Large Baronhout? Ah, uh, hello. Uh, how are you, uh, um... I'm Harold, Harold Halibut, sir. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you are. Harold, tell me, have you ever felt lost? Oh, I always get lost around here. Uh, no, Harold, I mean, feeling like you have no purpose. I know my purpose, but sometimes it doesn't seem very important. You heard the leak, I presume? Yeah, of course. That leak... That one message, it's undone me. If my whole family, this whole mission, the ship, my captaincy at large, <laughs> what if it was all a mistake? Oh, I see. Well, maybe Earth didn't get as bad as people thought it would, but we're still us. And you know, it wasn't us that chose to fly away. I suppose. Speaking of which, have you ever lost someone, Harold? Have you? 
Yes. Someone important. She's gone, Harold. Oh. I'm so sorry to hear that. What happened? Coco has taken an... unscheduled leave of absence. Oh, so she's not lost forever? No, I'm sure she'll return eventually. But every moment without her, I spend in longing and despair. Is it anyone I might know? My beloved? Her name is Coco. Oh, not sure I've ever met her. Do you want to see a picture? Coco it's a bird. is a bird. Harold, you're such an understanding sort. Could you try to find her for me? I'd look for her myself, but in these uncertain times, I think it's best I don't leave my post. Mm. So, about Coco. Yes. Such a loyal first mate. Does she maybe have any favorite hiding places? Hmm. Not that I know of. I did find her once in a broom closet trying to hatch a sea sponge inside my hat. I promise to keep an eye out for her. Oh, Harry. I hope she's okay. I'm not sure she has another friend in the world. You'll be fine. Bye. Now I understand the hairstyle. Coco! Kind of talking about her like he was um, doing naughty things with a bird. 